In this video, I wanna give you the big picture on how your product personal endorsement will help you to get customers. So there's really two main ways conversations start about your product or service that will lead to getting a customer. The first way is a person asking you directly, what do you do? Or the second is when something is said. And so stop and think about this because you probably already experienced it. Have you ever had that feeling or been in that um, situation where someone says, so what do you do? And you want to tell them about your product or you want to tell them about your business, but you're not sure how to do it and you kind of either trip over your words or you get the deer in the headlights look and just kind of stumble around for a second. Or someone around you says something like a, a need or a problem or something that they want and you know your product or service could help them out but you're not quite sure how to introduce the product to them or how to introduce a service to them so they understand it, so they value it, and so they actually uh, you know, don't get turned off by, by being a pushy salesperson or anything like that. Well, this training and then creating your personal endorsement script will help you in those situations, and those are the two main ways that you go out there and get customers. Now, before I actually jump into everything, I wanna share with you a fictitious business of mine that I'll be using for uh, purposes in this training video and some of the upcoming training videos as well. And this is my dog training school. And I have this picture next to me up for a specific reason. This is actually my girlfriend's dog and it was just a goofy picture I took of him of balancing a nutritional pill on his nose and actually balancing a bottle on his head. That's not Photoshopped in there. And the reason I want to show this to you is so this sticks into your mind and burns into your mind. Because something I've noticed is that when people join a network marketing business, it sometimes seems like common sense goes out the door. And I don't mean that in a bad way because I've been there myself. It's, you know, if someone were to ask you, well, what do you do for a job? Or what do you do for a living? Or where'd you go to school? Or where'd you grow up? You would simply answer back and it would be very natural and you wouldn't get nervous. But once people get into network marketing, someone asks them the same question, but about their business or their product, and then you get the sweaty palms and during the headlights look, or you start you know, getting diarrhea of the mouth and just spewing out all sorts of information. So anytime that starts happening to you or you're not quite sure what to do or what to say, I want this picture of this dog to pop into your mind to remind you that just treat the conversation as you would if you're telling someone about where you went to school or what you do for a job or you know uh, what you're doing this weekend. Just keep it very simple and keep it very matter of fact and don't start using all this MLM jargon. And so here's a customer flow chart uh, just to uh, kind of walk you through the process and we will, I'll show you this later and go into all the, um, every step as we go through this training. But that first block up there is, the, is how the conversation starts or the process starts. So it's the question, what do you do? Someone asks you that, or someone says something around you and there's an opportunity for you to share your product or your service. That's where you would use your short personal endorsement. And that's something that's just a very quick, um, a very short and quick phrase or sentence or two to tell them what you do or to see if they have any interest in learning more about it. And if there is interest or they kind of you know, are intrigued by it, that's where you move into what I call your full personal endorsement or you use a supporting endorsement. So your full personal endorsement would be like your, your entire product story and a supporting endorsement would be um, you know, like the company founder's story or someone else's story in the company. And those three, those first three steps are really kind of all part of the connect phase of the communication process. If you've gone through our communication training, you'll be familiar with those steps. Um, if you haven't gone through that yet, I highly recommend you do. But the connect step is really where you're building the relationship with people, where you're having a conversation. And then that's usually where you start, from there you determine, what, if any information to show them about your company or your product or other information to lead them down that road. And that will lead us into the develop or introduce step where you start sharing them information and then you follow up with them and then you close them and get them as a customer. 
and then we'll start the process of turning that person into a customer for life. Because as I mentioned in other videos, I don't want just want a one-time sale, I wanna build a long-term residual income. And the way you do that is by having great customer service and having people buy the product month in, month out, year after year after year. And as I take you through this process, I don't want you to worry that the, um, about being a cheesy MLM salesperson. You've probably experienced it of either someone doing it to you or you doing it to someone else and you know it just made everything kind of feel weird. We're not gonna do that. We keep everything very professional and very natural. So that process I described to you might seem a little bit confusing right now or might seem a little complicated, but I found that for people to really understand it and be able to do it, we have to break it down step by step by step so you understand what you're doing and that way you don't get diary of the mouth or you don't get those uh, really sweaty palms or your fear kicks up and you don't know what to do next. So we're gonna to stick to professional, natural sales or consultative sales, some people call it, as we use this personal endorsement. And as I've already mentioned, I highly recommend that you go through our comprehensive communication training course. This product personal endorsement will build off of the foundation and the skills you learned in there and will teach you the mechanics and what to do. Uh, but I highly recommend you check out that communication training course to help you develop great communication skills. And I really want to tell you that you need to master the basics first. And part of mastering the basics is creating and using your personal endorsement. I know when I got in the business, I had all these ideas and aspirations. I wanted to do all this stuff. But it's like that old saying, you have to crawl before you can walk and you have to walk before you can run. Well, same thing when it comes to building your network marketing business. In the, you might think, well, you know, I, this is, it's not worth my while to get a couple customers when I go out there and recruit people and get the big money that way. No, this is absolutely worth your while to go out there and get customers. Because as you do, it builds this great foundation and opens up a lot of new doors for you to build your business with. Once you have this mastered, you will get referrals. You'll get honest to goodness, real referrals from people who are real customers of yours or people who aren't customers but know what you do and actually refer people to you. I don't know many other network marketers who have that, but our training will create that for you, assuming you have a good product or good service that can stand on its own. It'll help you get associates because having that confidence that you can get at customers will come across as you go out there and start presenting uh, to potential associates and then sponsoring them. I've seen in so many of my downline, once they start getting customers or are able to sell our products, their confidence level shoots through the roof. Now, while they might be saying the exact same thing when they're presenting the business plan to people, their confidence is conveying something else and then people are attracted to leadership and confidence. And we all want our team, our organization to get you know, dozens and hundreds and hundreds of customers, but you have to lead by example. And then once you have this down, you're able to start doing advertising. You can do local advertising or even online advertising on the internet. But if you don't know what works and you don't know how to have conversations, and if you can't sell a product or get a customer you know, face to face with someone or in conversation, you're not gonna be able to do it online or through a lead source. And so once you have the master, the basics master, it leads to a lot of other things. I mastered the basics years and years ago, and since then, I've trained numerous, it's well over a dozen, top 25 customer enrollers in my company. And my company is not a small company, it did like a half a billion dollars in sales last year and has 100,000 plus associates around the world. So to have a top 25 customer enroller in our company is a very big deal. To have one up on stage almost every single year is even a bigger deal. My organization actually has more customers than associates, and both of those number in the thousands. So do you think I have a solid residual income? You bet I do. And how many people out there do you hear in network marketing trainings and organizations, people actually let alone talk about getting customers, but actually having more customers than associates? Every business has to have customers. And you know, you don't hear about franchises. Take whatever franchise you want, you know, Subway, McDonald's, or, or 
you know, 24 hour gym member or 24 hour gyms or whatever, they have franchises, which is the equivalent to having, you know, associates. Now, does McDonald's have more customers or more franchises? Does Subways have more franchises or more customers? They all have more customers. That's what they all need in, in any business, including network marketing, to make your business work in the long run. But you can't have that until you've mastered the basics first. So what I want you to do if you're new to network marketing and you're still very nervous about talking with people, I just want you to observe. So open your ears and observe what people are saying around you. Just observe. And as you observe, write down anything that people say. Like when you hear people say something that your product or your service could help out with it, just jot it down. Jot down the phrase or jot down you know, what, the, what the person is saying. I guarantee you if, you, if you're, if you listen to a lot of people, you'll hear numerous opportunities throughout the day to where you can start presenting your products and getting customers. And the great thing is with this personal endorsement script, I'll teach you how to do it in a very professional way that doesn't, that doesn't turn people off, but gets results and will help you build a strong organization.